Hey, the YouTube is Jobber here with Andrew, Team Jobber. He just got done getting top 16 at the 2015 USA Nationals. And some of his prizes, he got this big old fat stack. It was just like 24 random packs. I believe so. 24 random packs. And then he has one of every single card of the set, the newest set of every rarity. So that's actually pretty. Pretty common. It's pretty sweet. I played uh, Trisha Lowe because Trisha Lowe is a very valuable card in Macross. Uh, <laughs> My build's pretty standard until you get to like, uh, it's just this. Trisha Lowe. And then, yeah, I got his, uh, got his prize card. Alright, now let's get into that deck profile. It's beautiful match, right. Gorgeous. Alright, so for the main deck, we had Trisha Lowe. Two Brios, two Colossalus, three Unicorn, three Valk, and then Gungnir. Some people were playing two, some people weren't playing it at all. I think it's broken. Um, yeah, it's just broken. Um, the obvious Dijin, two Shrits, two Maxi. Everybody told me to play three, but I just felt like two was the only thing necessary, or the only necessary amount. And um, I should have played three in top. But I can't switch my deck list. Uh, I played two Senju and three Manju. Why only two Senju? Um, because I played Dance Princess. It doesn't really justify like an entire reason, but I feel like if I played this and then try to fit the Dance Princess in, I would have too many normal summons. And I think it might just be me, but I draw like a lot of Jews. So I draw two Jews at least per game. And I just felt like I didn't need this. Like based on my ratio, it's like that's, <laughs> that. It was just real, like well, realistically. Nice it, it is, it is. And then um, this card stole me like so many games. Like worth. Nobody believes I main decked it, but they lost to it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, and then I played decisive armor. Yeah, I was gonna say like, wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah. This this is like this the most amazing card. Stealing wins. It does steal wins. Um. You play through Valk, uh, Maxi through this, you play through Shared Ride, you can play through everything. Um, this card just gave me an OTK. Every time I had, not in like a crazy advantage, but there was times where like I was so far behind, I just like pushed for game, and this just gave me that last amount of damage that I needed to win. Yeah. Um, so, Regeki, Book, Prep, Two Rota, Six Mirrors. Um, and then I played two shared rights. Um, I felt like I was gonna play a lot of mirror matches, and I thought maybe I, I don't know. I thought I played a fair amount, so that's why I didn't play three and I only played two. And this card proved to be like really useful because I drew it every time I played against Necros, and <laughs> I actually drew it against Klee, and I resolved it for four cards. Oh, he he. Um, what did he do? He I'm bought a duality. Grab Summoner Art, grab Scout, grab Sacrifice. Oh. And then, like, I, I drew four cards and I, I beat him next turn. And then, my personal choice is one Galaxy Cyclone. Broken. I felt. I don't play MST. Yeah, um, I just felt like this card was universally good because if I played against Rogue, then this card was just the out to all the floodgates and but you also didn't explain about your no book of eclipse thing what's that what's, oh, the, yeah. what's the dealio with that huh i only play three Dijin outs <laughs> because you don't even have a warrior out yeah i don't play warrior i don't think the warrior out is good that's just me um i don't i a book is cool regek is cool but i just feel like my you build also, you also had torrential as an out yeah and also yeah of course torrential as an out and three mind crush but um for the Dijin logic, it was just like, game one, if I got Dijin, I was probably gonna draw an out because I played the Shared Ride uh, Maxi. And I just felt like I was just gonna have an out regardless. But I personally just don't like Eclipse either. I think it's a terrible card. And I actually didn't get Dijin. And nobody agreed to side out Dijin, but they, I, I never got Dijin. So, I mean, <laughs> it worked <laughs> nice. for this event. <laughs> Oh, double juice shit, right? The only, <laughs> only uh, my team and uh, the people along with us, NorCal, knew that I wasn't playing any Dijin outs. So it was good that I didn't get Dijin. Yeah. And then three Mind Crush. Three Mind Crush was amazing. But I think, you know, knowing your opponent ham, ham puts you so far ahead, 
And this card just made it so much easier to side deck. I should go to my side deck, but I played three mistakes in the side deck. So when I sighted in mistake, I kept mind crushing, especially in the mirror match, because they search, and if I have both, then this gives me information in their hand, so whether I re mistake or not, you know? So, I actually opened up two of these against the mirror match. Uh, he surged, I mind crushed the surge, and then I mind crushed the regeki and flipped mistake, and he lost. Like, yeah. And then, uh, in my top 64 match, I played against Lolly, and I had mistake on the field. He, um, <laughs> he summoned Senju, I mistaked. I had a Brio on the field because I had a mistake. I need to establish a big monster. He goes, Regeki. I'm like, okay, draw a pass. I, I draw Torrential. I said it. And I'm like, if he summons another monster, I'm going to plus one. So he summons another monster. I plus one. And then I said, all right, Galaxy Cyclone something. And on my turn, I drew a Jew or a Monju. And I was just like, removed from the grave, fought my own mistake. And then I just gin locked him with Trishul. And I just like, yeah, yeah, blew him out. Get one so, card. Yeah. And um, that's just how my top 64 match went. But for, uh, for the rest of my side, two Dankos, two Flying Seas, uh, two Lantia, two MSTs, Galaxy Cyclone, Vanities, and two Road Decree. I just felt like I had too much back row removal. That was probably like the one thing I regret. Um, I could have played better cards. I never sided, I hardly sided these in, even against Klee. Like, I just sided this in against Klee. Yeah, because you don't want to oversize. And if my opponent uh, decided to keep an emptiness, I never put these in. Like, I just felt like it was terrible. Like, yeah. I, don't, I just didn't see a point in it. Uh, Lantia won me my Ritual Beast game. It, it put me ahead in top 6-4 also in my future match. And then Flying C, I played against two BAs in top. Like, that's my shittiest matchup. Flying C, actually, I drew it every turn. And then in my last match, I drew it, but he had spell counselor, so it didn't even matter. It didn't, like matter. Oh yeah. And then Danko's obvious. Yeah, that's how he lost. He got spell counselor first turn. He opened, yep. opened five, five spells. Five spells. Yeah. Got spell counselor, and then that was that was the end of my day. Um, got the extra deck. Extra deck is kind of standard, or pretty standard actually. There's a 12, 11, 10, your two fours, one emerald, one dweller. I played the diamond combo. You hated it. Yeah, it was terrible. I wish I I didn't play it. <laughs> diamond dire. Which is like, truthfully, the best card in your extra deck. One of them. That card is so good. Um, Lavalvo Chain, Cowboy, Exiton, and two Rhapsodies. I thought I, was, I honestly thought I was going to play against more mirror matches today. Or, and yesterday. But I didn't. I actually discussed this with Luca randomly on DM. I didn't even know that it was him. But we discussed it and then we ended up figuring out that we were talking to each other. And, <laughs> and we just decided on two Rhapsodies. And I think it was a good choice just in case. And that's about it. Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Team Jobber here, signing off.